Having more fun, more fun than anyone. Are we on? Okay, we're live here. Okay, listen, guys, we're, 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 we've just made some sandwiches to travel tomorrow. We're going to a Lecce, a town called Lecce, L-E-C-C-E, -E, if you can look it up. And follow, follow along the bouncing ball, and it's bouncing. Um, Acacia, I'm seriously, Acacia, half this town's related to Acacia. Everybody around, oh, you're a master, you're a fiola, you're the, oh, my God. I mean, and we walk into a, a store, and, 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 and Acacia starts talking to the lady behind the counter who, who looks like she's about 104, and she turns out she's 73, and uh, same last name. And my goodness, and, you know, 45 minutes later, we're still trying to check out. I mean, it, it's, it's the butcher. We go in to buy this, this some deli stuff. We call it deli stuff, but I mean, this stuff is like gourmet stuff. I'll show you in a second here. And uh, I mean, again, your name is, uh, what was his name? Uh, no, no, pa pa uh, Di no, Prosperous? Prosperous. Prosperous. His name is Prosperous. His name is Prosperous. Prospero. Pros Prospero. Prospero. And, um, and, I mean, listen, you know, trying to just buy something, some simple meats and cheeses or whatever, and, and you know, 45 minutes later, we were finally getting good into the register to cash out. He's a one-man show, so he does it all. So, anyway, we bought these olives in, um, uh, in Naples, Napoli. The other day, we ran across an, an olive guy who, um, obviously, he, make, he grows olives. And I mean, wow. One of those olives, these are green olives, obviously, I and mean, you can see. One of these in a martini would blow you away. I mean, these things are wow. And then over here, we've got some black olives that they're a little salty for me, but they're delicious. I mean, both of them have seeds. They're not seedless. This is not out of a can. You know, this guy gave us these two tubs, and we're we're trying to um, get some weight down because we travel with these up here, and we decided this is ridiculous. Okay, um, <clears throat> over here we've got a chunk of blue cheese that we've been working off of for days, and yeah, which goes great with the red wine that we're drinking here. Less than I'd say um, less than three dollars. Less than three dollars. You can speak up. This is just okay. Money. This blue cheese was less than three dollars, and, and it, it was, was three twice. Yeah, yeah three times the big. size. It was huge. It goes great with this uh, Pugali Red that we're drinking right now. I mean, which is made in this valley. This coming up here on the train, the whole valley was filled with vineyards. And so then, this is some of the meats that we bought today. We bought. I, hit, I told him ten slices of the Parma ham or prosciutto. Well, you know, I don't know what how, how his math is, but we got a lot more than ten slices. <laughs> and then I got some. This, this is um, a salami Milano. And I have not tried that yet, but it looks good. We had some of a different, they were, you get six different varieties of salamis. You know, these hams, are, this place, there's only one, one variety, but other places, there's a handful of, of, of different parmas, parmas here. What else we got going here, honey? Well, the sandwiches are, are put away, so they're done. We got an old apple that we're working off of. <laughs> these, these olives. I, I got the olives, oh, okay. Five bucks. Yeah, but both of those things were, were full because we're trying to move them into something smaller. They were five US or five euros, I should say. So anyway, we're eating good in the hood. So thanks for putting up with us. Ciao. 1991, the critic said it couldn't be done. I wanted to retire but they were still very young. Selling everything, now they have a life in the sun. Having more fun, more fun than anyone. Traveling the world to faraway places. Eating strange food, putting in their paces. Hanging out in Mexico, making lots of friends. It's a lifestyle, they'll live it to the beautiful land. You see, it didn't take long, living the dream. It's easier now than it ever seemed, it didn't take long. Let them show you how. 
so that you too can retire now. That was four decades ago, 